Good morning! Today we're getting into GitHub Actions Strategy Matrix. Not that matrix, but anyways, let's get to it. Intro! All right, so I created this repo to try to provide a bunch of different examples that you can utilize for a strategy matrix. What we're going to walk through today is basically different ways to run in matrix and how it allows you to be able to do parallel jobs that will normally run the same kind of code on the pipeline. And instead of having like a bunch of jobs with the same code, you would just write a matrix and provide certain parameters to differentiate between those jobs. This could be OS versions, this could be Node.js versions, this could pretty much have anything to do with your code. So just take a look at that. The idea here is that you have a GitHub action that you push to it. That workflow will have a job with a matrix on it. The matrix, let's say, uh, it says that, hey, my node version is gonna be node 8, 10, 12, and 14. So it's gonna have four different values within that matrix. What that will do is that then GitHub Actions will trigger one job per matrix value. So in this case, this column will be, let's say, node 8, this one node 10, this one node 12, and this one node 14. And it will run the same parameters um, the, it will run the same workflows in parallel. So let's say that it runs a linter, then a unit test, and then an integration test. Uh, it has different uh, setups so that basically if one job fails, all of the parallel jobs in the matrix fails, or you can set it so that you if one job fails, you don't fail the rest. It's pretty modular in that sense, so let's just get into the code. All right, so under a job, we set up a key name strategy and under that strategy, you add the matrix param. What will happen is that anything under the matrix will be taken, taken as a parameter of that matrix. So for example, if I wanted to do node version under this run, then I could do, uh, let's say eight and then 10, well, let's say 10. So then I know that when I'm running this thing, if I want to install or anything different type version types, then I can look them up by the actual parameter. For example, in this one, I'm just echoing the matrix run variable so that you can later see the samples, but then I can do something else like uh, calling a GitHub action that utilizes that node version. So if we go into Let's go into the next one. Let's say matrix do not exit on uh, exit early. Uh, what will happen here is that whenever a job runs, because these are running parallel, right? So if we if one of the jobs fails, all all the jobs within that matrix will fail. So the cool thing about this is that then you can have let's say you're running node 10 and node 12, but then node 10 fails for whatever reason, your matrix fails so that you don't waste minutes uh, within GitHub Actions and also you know right away that there's a problem and you don't have to wait until all your tests finish to actually figure out what failed. So in this scenario, for this example, I'm basically saying if the matrix run is run one, then exit one if not continue. So what this will do is that on the two jobs that run in parallel, uh, for job one, it will exit and fail and run two by that time will probably be on the sleep. So then uh, GitHub Actions will kill job, uh, job two because job one failed. If we, if we wanna not do that, let's say that we wanna just continue on you can actually add fail fast false to the strategy. What this is saying is basically, hey GitHub, if run one fails, because that's the one that we're checking for, don't kill run two, just keep going because maybe run one, uh, you may want to debug certain things uh, and, and see what else could be there and, or you may just want it that way. So just play around and see what's up. 
let's say now another strategy attribute is max parallel max parallel what this is saying okay so normally github actions will utilize um uh they, they'll have their own strategy to run however many roms in parallel to utilize but let's say that you want to maximize that parallel jobs let's say that for some reason you want to stop it at two or set it as four then what will happen is that GitHub Actions will listen to that and only run, let's say, two jobs in parallel at a time. And it will do it right after those two initial jobs complete. We can have a different, uh, different matrix syntax for which uh, there is a, an include tag under the matrix. What this is doing is saying, hey, include this variable run within the matrix now because we set it up with run as the top level and now we have this include is not an override but instead it adds it to it so this will actually run three jobs in parallel now if we want to do something else let's say json for whatever reason you're developing some bash scripting and you want to output a json so then you can use it in the matrix and you'll see that uh, later on is that you could create your stringified JSON. You just need to make sure that it's a JSON where the top level keys include, and then each, and that has an array of objects and each object needs to have the keys that you want to pass to the strategy. So as you can see, I have the key run and that equals the run one. And for my second object, I have the same key run and that equals run two. Then, in this case, I output it as um, output, and then I have my outputs of the job to be matrix, and I set the output of that to be the step. So then when I call it in job two, to utilizing the built-in function within GitHub Actions called from JSON, then this will actually convert my output into the information that matrix requires to run properly now let's get to the fun part because sometimes walking through the code is a little dry and people hate it and i just want to see things working so let's get to it so we're going to go to each one of them and see the beautifulness of this let's make this bigger cool so let's see each one of them in action so i am actually going to run all of them one at a time because i want you guys to see it so let's say that we let's just start with this one this is the one that basically said i want to run all my things in parallel which is what matrix currently does all right so it's running job one and two and you can see it's running in parallel so if i go into that one we can see that it ran and we can look at the date it says september 705 at 58 seconds so if we look at run two at the date then you'll see that is uh 59 so it's very close together at the time that it ran uh, so let's go to uh to the, uh, the other one and we'll go into let's say a sample fail so what this is saying basically if run one fails then don't fail all of them for this case scenario and you saw it before as saying because this is the fail fast false so when we rerun that job you'll see that job one is running and then job one failed but job two is still going so we see here that it failed on exit early if matrix run one and then we go to job two and it finished uh, the work so we go back then let's go into the run max uh, to in parallel what this is saying is again is hey I only want to run two jobs in parallel and run the third one after it. So you see that job one, uh, a run one and run two for job one are actually running in parallel and this one was um, on hold. So then if I refresh this, it will start, it will basically start, um, it's waiting for, for actually starting this one. So there you go, it started. So. If I look at the actual time, 
on when this one started is 728 and it ended at 733 this one started at 728 ended at uh, 733 and then if I go to this one this one started at 743 so it started uh, after that and then um, 748 is when it finished cool so let's go oh isn't this awesome like oh anyways we're showing examples samples are fun uh, yeah so now let's do with the let's leave the JSON format for the end because I think that one's fun too. So for this one is the one where we're actually doing three includes and you'll see that it actually ran three. So GitHub Actions as well it just merges all of that together to create uh, the matrix that it actually run. Cool, so that's running. And you can see that it's running all of them in parallel because I don't have the the max parallel, but I'm just letting it run at whatever time GitHub wants. And they basically finish around at the same time. So you can see that's 856. And then if I go to this one, is 855. And then this one is 855. We're basically around the same run. And now finally is the JSON one. This one is cool is because um, it allows us to do a lot of dynamic runs within this. Like you can read, uh, let's say you want to read a list of files and then from those files you create your matrix to run. So it can be very dynamic. So that let's say for whatever reason you want to publish a bunch of lambdas. And you just want to do one at a time and within each one of them you want to run a test and do certain things with each of those lambdas. Then you can basically read the directory create the JSON payload from that and then from that then you can build a matrix and let everything run and the more lambda files you add to a directory you don't have to change your pipeline because we're just reading dynamically from that directory to create however many runs of that job you want. So for this one if we go to this again it's the one where I set my JSON payload and then I utilize it the, the from JSON parameter. So if we rerun this. You can see that it's running job one because job one is the one that creates the variable that will be utilized for the matrix. So you can see that, hey, it ran the output and then these jobs are going to get started. And now you can see that they're running. If I go to this one, then you see run one. Cool, all, all happiness. And then you can see run two. Um, right here, run two. So yeah, isn't that freaking cool? Thank you very much for joining me today. Make sure to subscribe and like this video. I put a link in the description below to the GitHub repo. Make sure to fork it, break it, do whatever you want with that code. Play with it and I'll see you next time.